Steve, I just can't deal with you right now. You know, you know, you, you retreated inside yourself. No contacts, no friends. And when somebody needed you, you didn't care. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's fine, okay? Just stay there. Obviously, you don't need anyone but yourself. Jamie. Please let go of me. No. Let go! you made me do. Well, at least her bionic arm still works. Don't worry about the tip. Call me about the window, please. Is there a back way out of here? Uh, yes, out the back. Prettier than awesome, and easier to grab. Thirty-second mile. I'm going to tell the Olympic Committee. Oscar. Hi, babe. Oh, it's the first time I've run full out in a long time. Ever since I moved here, I've been having time finding some place to. I thought it was secluded enough, but today I had to run it off anyway. Running off what? Emotions. Excess emotions. Maybe you've been putting too much time in that clinic. Those emotions I can handle. It's the new ones I'm having trouble dealing with. And the next time you decide to play matchmaker, would you send me somebody a little insane? I'm afraid that Martin, as a computer programmer, just doesn't get it. Oh? I had to add up the check. <laughs> well, it seemed like a pretty good idea at the time. What? Me running into Steve? Get into the car, Miss Summers. Oh, what a lovely invitation. Afraid I was late for work. Uh -huh. Ah, no bionic tricks. My friend over there will start firing at those blind children at the base. What do you want? Well, if I told you it was your body, you might get the wrong idea. But that's exactly what we want. So get in. Now. Show bionics. I like it. Hi, Jim. 
think it's doing. That's with two L. Come on, guys, let's go. The cops are here. Had a great time. Tell me, Dad. See? Just in time for your son's solo. Excuse me. Thanks. I really appreciate your coming. Just as unpredictable as ever. A prisoner in Germany had this cardboard clock. I have my motorcycle. What do you do when you want to shut up the world, Doc? I run. As a matter of fact, I will race you to the end of the park. I'm not sure if I can cruise subsonic anymore. I'll give you a head start. Gee, thanks. You're a pal.
I'm beginning to feel like an obsolete model. Why didn't you tell me? Because it's a secret. And it was a long time ago. I was in a skydiving accident, and your father made the same life and death decision for me. That's the closeness you feel. That's, that's what binds us together. See me, Steve. And Jamie, hope you can hear this. I'm being watched, so. He says Oscar understands he can deliver 16 loyal OSI agents. He needs a diversionary backup. Good luck, big guy. <laughs> 